Do you guys remember Devin? That AI software engineer that everyone hated like for two months straight? Well, I feel like that everyone wanted to this Devin to die. And I believe that yesterday, uh, GitHub just put the last nail in the coffin of Devin because we're going to explore this right now. What's going on? <laughs> Uh, let's start here. So AI startup Quick Mutual Labs founded in November 62 billion valuation. So the funny part of this one, of this news here, at that they posted on April's Fool and it looks like an April's Fool joke. But then uh, it shows here that they actually raised 21 million at 350 million valuation, which is kind of good amount of money. But then after they launched the one product, the Devin itself, they posted the minus 12. And then they went silence and no one heard about it. And I searched here on the blog as well. March 15 was the last post that they have. And uh, it's so funny because we were expecting these to be launched soon. And some, it was like in the works or somewhere down the line, like one month or two months time, they would be launching this. And then they just went really, really silent. Well, I feel like that. A lot of people was against having and this idea that would be the AI software engineer that we'd like uh, replace all the software engineers. And then we see here, for example, that this guy here, Internet Bugs, uh, made a pretty good job debunking Devin. And uh, I feel like this was very damning for the company itself because there was 400k views. There was a lot of people like uh, seeing this video and see like how they actually made their own advertisement because that videos that they made was just advertising for their product and trying to showcase capabilities of Devin. But then GitHub just launched this yesterday. So GitHub got part of the space and uh, pretty much does the same thing as Devin. So it's just, you can just create a specification and they're going to write a specification for you. They're going to plan like you're going to create this, this and this and that. And then you can share, you can make collaboration. And you can actually create like uh, these files. You can visualize these files as well. So GitHub has way more capability than Cognition Labs because they have the they have the workspace already. That is a cloud developing environment that you can use. I've used it's pretty good, pretty neat. They have this the GitHub Actions that you can you have this uh, CI CD environment that you can actually do a lot of things that. In, in the, instead of using Jenkins, instead of using other other things, you can just use GitHub Actions and they have the repository itself. So controlling the environment, controlling the whole environment of development actually allows GitHub Copilot to be way more powerful than these other tools. So like uh, even I post a video that's saying that how GitHub Copilot kill my CLI <laughs> and it's going to be killing almost every development tools for now on if you wanted to develop like AI development too. So you see here that it's pretty much a neat uh, development environment. It's very intuitive. It's really interesting. And the best thing actually for them is act the wording. So they don't want to replace developers. That That's the wording. That's the way that they actually do in the advertisement. And I feel this is going to will be more well received by the developers than cognition because instead of saying that Copilot Workspace is actually an AI software engineer, they say it is an environment for you developer to use to actually deploy and deliver your, your product. And that's, I believe, is a basic difference between the cognition and Copilot Workspace is actually the way that they're working. Then one of the things I was, uh, Actually, seeing, uh, watching Marquis Browning wrapped out one um, review was that we have to realize then you, when you don't have the environment, you have less capabilities than your competitors. So GitHub is actually a huge monopoly nowadays. I believe you can say that because their competitors not even close what GitHub can provide today as a repository environment where you can deploy you can use your repository and deploy your repository into that the own same platform now you can use workspace to actually fix stuff on the on the on the go if you don't have access to a, a good computer you have all these these things that bind with a hundred million developers that makes you a way more powerful company and way 
and if you have the right structure you are able to do things way faster than your competitors or in a better fashion and uh one of the things that's going to happen to rob r1 and uh, ai ping for example is that at the middle of the year when apple and google they made improvements on their own assistant these products here then they're, they're not going to be of much value anymore they're going to lose their value because you already have your phone and you have a better system now can that can do anything that r1 and ai ping can do so for example why are you going to do you're going to sign up for an ai software engineer where where your code are you can do the same thing so that's pretty much what's going on that's pretty much i think that happens to cognition uh, labs they're going to have to pivot they're going to have to figure out something else to do uh with their own uh AI models and, and our solution and uh, that's pretty much it for today guys what do you think leave a comment down below and leave a like and uh share your thoughts with me what do you think about these uh, ai advances and uh, how these platforms now they hold the environment they actually are killing all the solutions that were kind of like uh kind of trending right now <laughs> okay so thank you very much guys thank you for watching and this is yep yeah review